Thank you. Yes, single black female. I'm all three of those things, so. Yes, I am single because I, I've made some mistakes, basically. Like, I used to date young. I didn't mean to, it's just I aged well. <laughs> and they come at me, you know? When I'm hanging out at the GameStop, it's like, you know, it's like, what am I supposed to do? I'm like, you want this? You know, come and get it. <laughs> but I can't date young anymore. Um, it's exhausting, quite honestly. I mean, because they're always awake, you know, just looking at you like, what next? And I'm like, nothing. Okay, take a nap. But I have to date older now, because the court said, so. <laughs> said I have to. And that's fine, it's just I'm getting older and the men are getting older. And they come with families now. Like if I go on a date with an older man, I get a whole family. Like I don't have kids, so it's like my Tinder is different. It's like, oh, this family looks good. <laughs> oh, mom did a good job here, look at that. I was told I talk about dating too much in my act. Uh, I don't, I just, you know, my friends won't listen anymore. <laughs> so, and I have you, so. This is what I talk about. Like, I'm not good at political humor, and it's not because I don't want to, it's just I'm bad at it. And I, I feel, I have guilt about not doing political humor. I have what's called uh, black guilt. Oh, thank you, some of you laughed. I know, it's a, it's a white audience, it's okay. <laughs> I, I get it, like some of you had white guilt about my black guilt. I don't know, why did you do that to yourself? <laughs> Let me have that. But it's just that I, I need to do more, like I don't do enough and I know this. I'm not as woke as I should be. My woke friends have told me I need to be woker. Like I need to do some marching, you know, I need to get a good march in. <laughs> it, it's just my allergies been acting up, you know? Okay, I'm more of a seasonal protester. Like the Women's March, I wanted to do the first one in D.C. I wanted to do that, but I have a weak bladder. And I knew the lines for that bathroom were gonna be long. And they were. They said they were historically long. When looking back in history, a picture of me just waiting in line for the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> That's not what I want. Or straddling a bush because I couldn't make it. Just looking at my girlfriend like, this is our moment! <laughs> Look, I'm still peeing, you know, I drink a lot of water. I just, I need to do more and I know that. I, I do think it's age. And I am a lot older than I look. I'm black, so you'll never know. <laughs> All right, but it is happening. There's a certain age, and I didn't think it would happen to me, but there is a certain age where it sets in, where you, you, you say the wrong things, you don't know stuff, and what comes out, it's inappropriate. And it's embarrassing. Like, I've been messing up on my pronouns lately, because I met someone who was not a guy or a girl, they were a they, which is how they want to be referred to, and that's important. I care about that. It's just, it's new to me. And in a sentence, structurally. <laughs> it makes me sound like a runaway slave. <laughs> Like, where are they at? <laughs> they's coming? <laughs> they down by the river? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> they, all right. They gonna be mad at that joke. <laughs> 
I'm just saying, I'm trying. I just, I gotta do more. That's it, I just gotta do more. Like the most I've done is I was like, you know what, just go out and yell at a white guy. <laughs> just do that, that'll, that'll get the job done. <laughs> and I did, he was, the guy was standing too close to me at the grocery store. And I just looked at him, I said, no peace, no justice. He was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and it's no justice, no peace. Like, <laughs> you said it backwards. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know, come on, just stand back a little bit. Give me some space. <laughs> don't worry, white guys don't get, like, I've dated a lot of white guys, okay? Because the economy, it was bad for a while. <laughs> um, seriously, like two whites ago, this guy, no, <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I, I do have to go soon. I live in Harlem, New York, which has changed. See, you're excited about it. That's, that's different. Some things are still black in Harlem, like the Magic Johnson Theater, which I love. That is a black theater, and we talk at the screen. Oh, I love that. There's a show, and then there's a show. Like I saw the Lord of the Rings there years ago, and Frodo dropped the ring. And this woman yelled out. She's like, damn, Negro, do your job. <laughs> she was right, you know. And her timing was amazing. <laughs> hey, you guys were amazing too. Thank you so much. Beautiful.